What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. For this camera comparison we have the brand new iPhone 12. This is a phone that you can buy for about $800 and then we have the highly popular GoPro Hero 9 Black. This is an action camera that you can buy for between $400 to $450. So we are going to split this video in three sections. The first section has to do the internal microphone, so the sound from the internal microphone. The second section has to do the image stabilization on both devices. And the last section has to do the video quality between the iPhone 12 and of course the GoPro Hero 9 Black. And I think we should start by um, checking out some sample recordings so we can figure out which device has the best internal microphone and obviously the best sound. So let's check out those two sample recordings and I'll come back so we can talk about them. Alright, and we are moving on to another quick recording between the GoPro Hero 9 Black and of course the iPhone 12. Now, for this recording I'm using the front camera on uh, the iPhone 11 and obviously the only camera available on the GoPro Hero 9 Black. And I'm also recording in 4K at 30 frames per second, but I could actually use 4K at 60 frames per second on the front um, camera on the iPhone 12. So yeah, this is how a recording with the front facing camera on the iPhone 12 and of course the GoPro 9 um, would look like under these conditions. So basically walking and with the sun somewhere behind me. Alright, for our next audio test between the GoPro Hero 9 Black and obviously the iPhone 12, um, I am um, recording inside the car and I have all the windows closed. It is a bit hot um, at this time. So uh, for this I'm using the back ultra wide lens on the iPhone 12 and obviously the only lens um, available on the GoPro 9 and I am recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. So this is how the internal microphones uh, record sound from these two devices. Alright, so as you've seen and heard for yourself, if you're in a quiet place, the iPhone 12 does seem to do better for the sound recordings, but if you're in a place um, with a lot of wind, the GoPro 9 does better. So throughout this video, I'm going to switch the sound in between the iPhone 12 and the GoPro 9, depending on the situation. If it's windy, you're going to hear the sound from the GoPro 9. If it's not as windy, you're going to hear the sound from the iPhone 12, but you're going to see that on the screen as well. All right, so I think we should move on and um, go to the next section. So the next section has to do the EMI stabilization between the iPhone 12 and the GoPro 9. And here I feel that there is no comparison. The GoPro 9 does better in every single recording. And with that being said, let's check out those sample recordings and I will be right back. For this recording, I am using the main lens on the back of the iPhone 12 and um, obviously the only lens available on the GoPro 9. And I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. And as you can probably see for yourself, I am walking fairly slow. So I'm trying to keep the cameras as balanced um, as possible. The GoPro 9 is set to the maximum level on Vimi stabilization, which is boost. So yeah, this is how the instabilization would work on these two devices. And I'm also going to do a bit of a running test between the GoPro 9 and the iPhone 12. For this recording, I'm using the main lens and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. Of course, the GoPro is set to the maximum level of instabilization, which is boost. So this is how a recording between these two devices would look like if you are running. And since I'm here anyways, I figured I might as well do a bit of a running test between the GoPro 9 and the iPhone 12. And for this recording, I'm doing 4K at 30 frames per second and using the ultra wide lens on the back of the iPhone 12. With the GoPro 9, I am using the maximum level of image stabilization once again, which is boost. So yeah, this is how recording in 4K at 30 frames per second would look like. And I also have a quick recording between the iPhone 12 and the GoPro 9 on the bicycle. So for this recording, I'm using the main lens on the back of the iPhone, recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. And on the GoPro, I have the image stabilization set to boost and the GoPro in the linear mode. So we'll try going as fast as possible. Hopefully I don't fall. We'll go right. We'll go left again. We'll go right once again, somewhere around here. And left again. So yeah, this is how a recording on the bicycle between these two devices would look like if you're recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. All right, and I am back. So as you've seen for yourself, the GoPro 9 is pretty much unbeatable for um, image stabilization. I think the GoPro 9 is actually the best camera for um, image stabilization out there. I don't think there is anything else that um, comes even close to the GoPro 9 for image stabilization. All right, next we are moving on to our next section that has to do with the video quality on the iPhone 12 and the GoPro 9. 
And here I feel that the iPhone 12 does better in pretty much all the recordings. I mean, the contrast from the recordings from the GoPro 9 is just insane. And these are the factory settings. So when you take the GoPro 9 out of the box, I left those exact settings. So the contrast is uh, pretty high up. The saturation in those recordings is very high up on, on the GoPro 9. And the dynamic range is just horrible, but that has been the case with the GoPro for um, quite some time. So for video quality, I personally prefer the iPhone 12 for every single recording. So with that being said, let's check out those sample recordings and I will be right back. All right, this is our first video recording between the GoPro Hero 9 Black and the iPhone 12. For this recording, I'm using the main lens on the back of the iPhone 12 and recording in 4K 30 frames per second with both devices. So as you can probably see for yourself, I am walking fairly slow, but I'm also gonna run a bit so you can see how the image stabilization would look like. On the GoPro 9, I have the boost level of image stabilization enabled for this recording. So I'm gonna stop here for a bit. We're gonna pan right slowly and back left and walk straight for a bit so this is how recording in 4k at 30 frames per second between the gopro 9 and the iphone 12 would look like if you're using the main lens on the back of the iphone 12. next we are moving on to a 1080p at 30 frames per second recording between the iphone 12 and the gopro hero 9 black keep in mind that it is uh, pretty windy at this time and uh, you're also gonna hear some traffic a lot of cars um, passing by um, constantly around here so we're just gonna stop somewhere around here i'm guessing we're gonna pan left slowly i'm using the main lens on the iphone 12 just in case um, you're wondering and then we'll pan right and we're gonna walk this way for a bit so yeah, this is how a 1080p at 30 frames per second recording between the iPhone 12 and the GoPro Hero 9 Black would look like. Alright, then we are moving on to our next recording between the GoPro 9 and of course the iPhone 12. Now for this recording I'm doing 4K at 60 frames per second with both devices and I'm also using the ultra wide lens on the back of the iPhone 12. The GoPro 9 is set to the maximum level of image stabilization which is boost. We're gonna walk straight for a bit. Now for image stabilization, I don't think there is any comparison, but again, I'm gonna have to see how this footage actually looks um, on the computer. So yeah, 4K at 60 frames per second with the ultra wide lens on the back of the iPhone 12 and obviously the only lens um, on the GoPro 9. Okay, so we are moving on to our next recording between the GoPro 9 and uh, the iPhone 12. For this recording, I'm using the main lens on uh, the back of the iPhone 12 and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. So I kind of wanted to show you how uh, the video quality is if you are recording in the shade somewhere. So you can see that um, I'm here in the sun, but um, we are walking towards the shade. Here I'm fairly certain that the iPhone will do much better, but again, we'll have to see how this recording actually looks uh, on the computer so we're gonna stop here and pan left slowly and i guess we'll walk straight for a bit so yeah 4k 30 frames per second with a main lens on the back of the iphone 12 and of course with the gopro 9 set to the maximum level of image stabilization which is boost all right, and I am back once again. So what do you guys think about those sample recordings? I feel that some of you may actually prefer the recordings from the GoPro 9. It makes the videos look a bit more dramatic. It's like uh, you're in a movie basically with the recordings from the GoPro 9. So definitely let uh, leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts on those um, recordings. All right, next we're moving on to checking out some um, sample recordings that I've done at night. And if you're using the main lens on the back of the iPhone 12, um, the iPhone 12 does do much better. The recordings are brighter and they have way less noise. But if you're using the ultra wide lens on the back of the iPhone 12, there isn't that big of a difference. Um, so let's check out those recordings and I will be right back. And we're moving on to another quick recording between the GoPro 9 and the iPhone 12 in low light. For this recording I'm doing 4K 30 frames per second and um, I'm using the main lens on the back of the iPhone 12. So we're gonna go this way, it is a bit darker around here and I can definitely see way more on the screen of the iPhone 12. So yeah, this whole recording would look like if you are using the main lens on the back of the iPhone 12 and of course the only lens available on the GoPro 9. And we are moving on to our second uh, recording in low light between the GoPro 9 and the iPhone 12. 
Now for this recording, I'm using the ultra wide lens on the back of the iPhone 12 and obviously the only lens available uh, on the GoPro 9, but I'm using the GoPro 9 on the wide setting. So 4K at uh, 30 frames per second, but um, on the wide setting. And of course the boost image level of stabilization. So this is how a recording would look like if you are using the ultra wide lens on the back of the iPhone 12 and recording 4K at 30 frames per second. And I am back once again. So for nighttime recordings, I feel that the iPhone 12 does better than the GoPro 9. But this has been a problem with GoPros for a long, long time. They definitely need to have um, a bigger sensor um, inside that um, camera. So it can actually do decent in low light because no GoPro has ever done good um, in low light. All right, moving on to some um, sample pictures. We're well, looking at the pictures taken by the GoPro 9. A lot of them um, look very similar to some pictures that you take with a Samsung Galaxy device. So they have a lot of contrast. They have um, very saturated colors, but I can't really say that the daytime pictures look bad. They do look um, interesting. So for daytime pictures, I'm gonna say they're both pretty good, but for nighttime pictures, the iPhone 12 does better, mostly because we have a night mode for the ultra wide lens. So that's why the pictures look sharper and brighter. So there you have it, the GoPro 9 and the iPhone 12. What do you guys think? I know that these um, two devices aren't um, similar devices. I mean, this is an action camera. You can take this in places where you can't actually take the iPhone. With the iPhone, you can make phone calls and a bunch of other stuff. So obviously not a fair comparison, but I figured it would be a fun thing uh, to do. So definitely leave a comment and let us know your thoughts on the GoPro 9 versus um, the iPhone 12. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.